Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today's lesson is over rotation. We are generally going to be doing counterclockwise rotation, so that's all this lesson is over today. When we rotate a point x comma y counterclockwise uh, 90 degrees, our new coordinate is going to be negative y x. When we rotate that same point 180 degrees, our new point is going to be negative x, negative y. And when we rotate that point 270 degrees, our new point is going to be y, negative x. So we will keep these in mind as we go through the examples. So our first example is to rotate triangle ABC 180 degrees counterclockwise. So 180 degrees counterclockwise would be this way. If we're going 180 degrees, that means we need to move two quadrants because each quadrant is 90 degrees. So our new triangle is going to be here, two quadrants over. So if we don't get points in this quadrant, we know we did something wrong. The first thing I want to do is label my or list my points A, B, and C, the coordinates of my points. So point A is at 1, 8. Point B is at 7, 9. And point C is at 7, 4. Now we're going to use our notes that we just took over rotation to label our new points and then we can actually put them on our coordinate grid. So for 180 degrees counterclockwise, our new point is going to be negative x, negative y. So we're just taking the x and the y and making them negative. So my a prime is going to be negative 1, negative 8. b prime is negative 7, negative 9. c prime is negative 7, negative 4 and we can actually plot those points and draw our new triangle. So A prime is negative one, negative eight. B prime is negative seven, negative nine. And C prime is negative seven, negative four. And here is our new triangle. Our next example says rotate triangle ABC 270 degrees counterclockwise. Again, we're going to start by listing the coordinates. So coordinate for point A is going to be negative 7, negative 4. Point B is 5, negative 5, 2. Point C is negative 3, negative 2. When we rotate counterclockwise 270 degrees, we need to move three quadrants. Three because 270 divided by 90 is 3. So each quadrant is 90 degrees. So each point needs to be three quadrants away counterclockwise from where it was. So A and C are going to end up here. B is going to end up somewhere here. Make sure you're checking for that as you write your new points and plot them. So our rule for rotating 270 degrees is y negative x. So we're going to keep the y, now it goes first. The x, we're gonna change the sign and that's our new y. So again, y negative x and y, negative two, negative x would be positive three. So we change the signs of the x values, they go in y, all the y's stay the same, but they now go in x. And now we can plot these points and draw our new triangle. So a prime is negative four, seven. So over here we have negative four, seven. That's our new a prime. Remember, I wanted it to be in that quadrant, so that should be an indication that this is correct. 
B prime is 2, 5. Again, I wanted it to be in this quadrant. That's three quadrants over, so that's good. And C prime is negative 2, 3. Again, I needed that one to be in that quadrant. So here is our new triangle. Ignore that. Thank you for watching, and for more math tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.